Hi Aquarius, all right, let's see what is going on for you, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hang on, cards, all right, we're going to see what is going on for you. All right, overall energy is you. You may have a major decision coming up here. God, your cards are very sloppy. They just like, want to go everywhere. Uh, things may be very chaotic when this happens. There could be a lot going on. You may have messages coming in. There could be someone who's coming back towards you who has been thinking about you a lot and been holding back until now. They may have something they want to tell you with the Ace of Swords. They may want to get together. I mean, so they may want to like meet for a coffee or drink or something. I'm seeing a King of Pentacles under the deck. Some of you might also have new love coming in. It could be somebody that you are already around, whether you go to work, school, church, uh, wherever else you might go. There could be somebody who is interested in you there. Uh, there's a 50-50 chance this person might work out. Not everyone that shows up, obviously, in your readings is like the one, but I get someone someone at a bank, meeting someone at a bank or someone works at a bank. What is this fire sign? Tired. Wanted to come back towards you. I definitely feel like there's someone who's either a younger energy, young at heart, a could be fire sign, who wants to come towards you. Wow. There's a lot of love with this person. I'm seeing a lot of nights with them. They may not have a lot to offer at this very moment. But it doesn't mean like it couldn't make you happy. So maybe they want to like renegotiate something like, or, you know, reunite. It could be an ex, Ace of Swords can be my reunion card. So, but it could also be maybe a project, something else for some of you. I think this person brings a lot of happiness into your life, or they could. Okay. Yeah, I feel like the rest of the month could be kind of chaotic for you, but... It could be the kind of chaos where you're just really busy. You have a lot of things to do. You may have more than one option in love as well showing up. You could have someone who wants to again come and visit you or see you. They could be from out of town. Um, they may, it may be surprising. It may be one of those things where like you feel like you need to or want to see them. So it's a good thing. Um, you're happy, I feel, but again, it kind of is like that thing where you don't really have a whole lot of notice. So be prepared. Also, I guess someone you could have like an interview pop up or some sort of work project pop up where, yeah, you may need to go drive somewhere and uh, some sort of interview or job process or something or learn something new. Something kind of sudden feels like it's going to happen uh, sometime during the end of this month. I mean, we're already on the 23rd, so we only have about a week and a half. So... If you, Eight of Coins, of course, doesn't have to be work, but there is somebody around you, someplace you go, Eight of Coins, that is keeping an eye on you. That's why I feel like you may have a few people. I feel like it's going to be chaotic when it comes to like, people talking, messaging you, communicating, wanting to go out. Um, but I don't feel like it's a bad thing. I feel like, you know, it's a good thing. Just got to keep your schedule straight. I feel like for some of you, you could be finishing up a contract or starting a new one. Or I just kind of feel like, again, like things might overlap. That makes sense to you. When things not quite done, something new starts and it kind of creates a chaos. Possibly, what does Aquarius need to know? Happiness though, see? It is good energy though. I don't feel like it's anything negative. In fact, you may get some very positive news. Under the deck, it does say chaos. So... But sometimes chaos can just mean, you know, a lot to do. Sometimes it's fun to be very busy. And it's fun to have, you know, a lot of different things on your calendar. But just be looking out because you don't want to waste your time with time wasters. But I also get like there could be a valuable meeting or work connection or work interview for those of you that are looking for something like that as well. And that would be important because I do get some of you having to go to meetings or meeting with your boss or meeting something like that for work. I get like something that happens last minute, so you gotta be ready. Um, I'm also getting for somebody, you might have someone who ends up in the hospital or you know, someone you might have to go visit this person or family member. It could be like, you know, something sudden and you have to drive you know, for an hour to get there, but I don't get anything bad around that, but it's just like, there's like chaos having to, to get things done. But see, your cards are saying joy though. The cards are coming out as very positive, very happy, go with the flow. It's not anything to worry about. So 
That's why you're at the center of your reading. The whole reading is talking about you making decisions and choices here about some different things. I have the Ace of Cups. It did come out reverse. So it could mean there could be someone who you're not really feeling it with this person is kind of what I'm getting. So like I said, I saw that King of Pentacles and I kind of felt like, you know what, mentioning not every person that shows up obviously in your life in the tarot is a keeper. Uh, they may be someone who's stubborn. Also, they could be kind of controlling sometimes or jealous with the Five of Swords, but they are they could be very attractive. Yeah, they're right there. But again, listen to your intuition for this per with this person. If you feel like something's off, it probably is. But they could just be a good time. Nine of Cups can be a good time, same with Fool. So, or they just either you're having a good time and then it kind of just fades away or they're, they're just in it for a good time, something like that. You also might not have time for this person is also what I'm getting. I'm kind of getting that maybe you weren't looking for love. Some of you, you know, don't want something long-term. Some of you just want, you know, maybe something short-term and that might fit the bill. But they are saying take a leap of faith. Take some sort of leap of faith this month and trust. So you are gonna be presented with an opportunity and it doesn't have to be love. It could be something else, something that I feel like is fun. You will think it's fun or interesting and you'll wanna do it, but you just may feel like your schedule doesn't allow it or something like that. It says again, leave your fears behind Aquarius. There's something here where for some of you, it could be with this person because it says they're stopping this relationship from blossoming. So maybe open up. Put yourself first. Do what makes you happy. And open your eyes. Wow. So it also says if someone shows you who they really are, believe them the first time. So again, I feel like it's 50-50. I got that with the two of coins. 50-50. Some of you, this person is someone who could bring a lot of joy and happiness in your life. Someone who could be, be bringing you some sort of like also get work. Um, what do you call those? People who could uh, bring you more money or bring you appointments or bring you opportunities. It could be a good work opportunity. Others of you, yes, it could be a love situation. But also, if they have done something already and you're just not feeling them, then listen to your intuition. So maybe you're getting into real estate also. Something to do with real estate, I get, is really exciting for you. What else does Aquarius need to know? Serendipity. This card just keeps coming out. Being at the right place at the right time, being lucky, making a choice that will bring you more peace. See, you're going to have a lot of choices I get this month, or at least one really big one. Something's going to be presented to you that you need to decide what you're going to do. I feel like there's a lot of little things also going on for you. But there's like one main big thing that's going to bring you a lot of happiness, joy, and peace. So again, some of you could be winning some money as well. I get like a small... Uh, if you play lotto, maybe a small win. You could also have a water sign who's been thinking about you. Some cards fell out. I have a lot of cards falling out of the deck. You have really nice cards here. There could be a water sign who might not be from your past. The Six of Cups is in reverse, but I don't know if it's supposed to be. But someone who may want a relationship with you. It looks like you do know this person. Maybe they're saying it's not an ex. You do know them, but it's not an ex. You may have somebody who wants to get married. Throwing that out there, too. Because that wanted to come out right there at the end. So there could be a water sign who's had their mind on you recently, thinking about the past, good memories with you. And maybe they're thinking about going further, taking it to the next level. All right. I'm going to leave it there, Aquarius. Have a great week.